Hey, it's Matt the Momo Hunter with McGee Farms, and uh, we're making some doors for our side-by-sides. We've got a couple different ones, but we've got two that we use a lot, this BMS Rhino. We also have a 3010 Mule that we've been using that for well over 20 years on the farm and uh, love it. But the problem with it is for a lot of these, you can't find a lot of accessories. This one came with a windshield and a top. I made a windshield and I made a top for the mule and uh, back windshield I'm going to be working on. It's not going to be that hard to do, but the doors, if you find the doors, they're outrageously expensive. So I've got this stuff. It's called, I believe, HDPE or HPD, H, yeah, HDPE Lowe's or not Lowe's, uh, Menards carries it. It's the only place I've found it. I'm not a big fan of Menards, but it's the only place I can get it. So I got a couple sheets. They're four by eight sheets and one four by eight sheet is going to do the doors, both doors for this. So what I started out with, you'll see this black section right here. It's a two piece door. I got cardboard and I cut the template out and I've got, oh, it's probably about a, uh, probably about a foot and a half wide. And it's uh, more for structural support. It's going on the edge. I've got it hooked up with zip ties right now. And while I'm fitting it, the zip ties work great because I've had to cut them and adjust things. I don't know how many times and you know, it's really easy to do by the time I'm done. I'm gonna get clamps. Uh, I've actually got pipe clamps. I've got one on here already with these rhinos and rhino clones. Uh, you've got these little brackets for the seat. So I've got just a pipe clamp on here. I'm gonna end up putting some rubberized uh, undercoating, plasti dip, something like that. And I'm gonna cover Cover the clamp. I'm gonna cover the screws on both sides with the exception of these. I probably won't just because anytime I gotta remove the seat, I'm gonna to have to remove that clamp. But that's uh, that's the, uh, the first part of it. And like I said, I just did a cardboard, cut the template out, put it over this four by eight sheet, cut it out with a Sawzall and a Dremel for some of the finer parts and uh, we're gonna go over and take a look at the driver's side where I've got part of the door already built. All right, so I've gotten to the next step. I went and bought a couple of uh, small sheets of plexiglass that I'm gonna use for the windows. And I went ahead and just cut out a pretty good size area. I've gotta kinda of clean it up a little bit. Also, I need to trim the plexiglass. But what I did was I cut a hole with the Dremel. You kind of see it in there. It's just kind of in there. It's, uh, you know, not in there permanently quite yet. But what I also did is where I had an extra piece that was left over from before. I'm going to get a couple of those, trim them up a little bit, make them look a little nicer, but uh, just screw them in and kind of build a frame for this plexiglass. And then the plexiglass is just a little bit bigger than what I need, so I'm going to trim it up a little bit. So I finally got everything finished on this, and uh, just going to do like a final video. Got a little spray paint, tried to paint it to match the rest of the machine. Uh, it's cut freehand. There's a few gaps here and there, but, uh, you know, I've, I've got maybe $200 in the entire enclosure here. So not too bad. Come over on the driver's side, you got the half door that came with it. Uh, this is the, the door that I made with it being open. I used some leftover scraps to kind of frame in the plexiglass on the window. And the other thing I did afterwards, and it got too cold to paint it to match it, but I made a frame for the back window, put some plexiglass in, so it's completely enclosed. This thing has a like a cigarette outlet type uh, power source in here. So with that, I have a little heater, a little 999 heater I picked up at Harbor Freight that plugs in. Gives me a little heat when I'm riding around. I've got Yeti style cooler latches that I bought off of Amazon. 
that I used to strap it closed. Handle for on the inside and on the outside. I'm gonna put some of these on the outside to keep it closed when I'm not in, but I just didn't have enough straps to do it all the way around. Also, another thing is I have these on top and I'm gonna show you why in just a second, why I mounted those on the inside. But we'll go in, take a look from the inside and the passenger door. You can see where it's strapped. There's a few little gaps. I'm gonna use some weather stripping to fill in. Get the handle and up top where that little, uh, little thing as I showed you. So when you get going at a good speed, the, the wind kind of grabs it and opens it a little bit. So I just grabbed a bungee cord. I've got it strapped to the top roll bar and it holds it tight. And that way it's uh, less air leaking in. So that's the cab that I built for the BMS Rhino Ranch Pony. I'm going to be doing another one, a little different design, but another one for my Kawasaki 3010 Mule here shortly. I've already done the back window for it. I just, uh, I've got to do the doors. And like I said, I'm going to do a little different design and I'll be making a video for that too when I do it. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope maybe this give you some idea and help keep you warm this winter. This is Matt the Momo Hunter for McGee Farms. And as always, if you enjoy the video, if you got inspired by it, please subscribe to our channel, uh, give us a like, leave a comment. All of it is greatly appreciated.